Welcome to A Thought for Today with Bro Steph, and it's already December 8th, 2022, if you can believe that. Today's scripture reading is John chapter 15, verses 12 through 17. It's a little longer than we normally do, but I thought this was extremely important that we get the whole context of what the Lord Jesus is trying to communicate to us. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. You are my friends if you do whatever I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends for all things that I heard from my father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask in the father Whatever, excuse me, you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. These things I command you, that you love one another. And here's my thought for today. The Lord is outlining for us what true love is all about you'll notice that love is not about feelings. It's not about feeling happy. It's not about feeling joyful. It's not about just feeling super excited about someone or something. Love is a decision. I decide to lay down my life for my brother or my sister or for the Lord, that, uh, for that matter. See, Jesus, when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane, he didn't feel like going to the cross. Just reflect back on the scriptures that, it, that detailed that experience he had. He fell on his face. He sweat blood. And he said, Father, if there's any other way, you know, basically paraphrase, show it to me. If this cup can pass, bypass me. If I don't have to drink from this cup, then show me. Show me another way. And what came back to the Lord was that going to the cross and becoming our sacrifice for our sin. An innocent man, God, had to shed his blood for your sin and for mine because he was sinless. That is the truest expression of love. He didn't necessarily feel like doing it, but he made a decision and set his heart and his mind on accomplishing that task. See, that's love. He did it so that you and I could be forgiven of our sin and have the gift of eternal life. Are you loving your brother and your sister? Are you forgiving people of their sin? Remember the scripture. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who've sinned against us. Forgiveness is an act of love. 
It's an expression of the love I have for my fellow men. It's also a trait that is extremely godlike because we serve a God that is compassionate and that forgives us of all our sin and trespasses. So, your action steps today are really very simple. Number one, as I always say, number one, read the Word of God, pray continually, and learn to praise and thank the Lord. Have an attitude of gratitude. And P.S., you can go to brosteph.com and you can look up. It's right there toward the middle of the page. You'll see my YouTube playlist on the 30 days of gratitude that my wife Carlin and I did for a full 30 days. We read scripture and we discussed having an attitude of thanksgiving and gratitude. You Go through that when you get a chance. It'll bless you, I'm sure. But um, the second action step is find in your heart someone that you have not forgiven, that you're holding a grudge against or that you're bitter towards. Pray and ask the Holy Spirit to help you forgive them. Forgiveness helps you. It takes the power of the enemy away. You can't become bitter if you have forgiven someone. Forgive that person of their sin so that the Father in heaven will forgive you of yours. If we do not learn to be people who forgive, The Bible says God won't be able to forgive us. So be like Jesus. Which one of us has laid down our lives for someone else like Jesus did? None of us here listening to A Thought for Today have had to lay our lives down for a brother or sister unless maybe... If you're a veteran and you were in the military and you went to war, well, that's an act of love, putting yourself on the line for an entire country. And we thank you for your service. So do that today. Find it in your heart to forgive. Ask Jesus to help you very important that we learn how to love as Jesus commanded us in the scripture. He said, a commandment I leave you, a new commandment I leave you, that you love one another. And then John in 1 John kind of nails it down and says, how can you say that you love God if you don't love your brother who you can see? How can you love the unseen God if you can't love a brother or a sister? This is Bro Steph. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you again on the next A Thought for Today. Bye for now. Keep looking up. Jesus is coming back. <laughs>